From the Tennessee Valley Weather Channel, this is your weather tonight. Hey folks, good evening. Hope you enjoyed your day out there. It's definitely a little warmer than anticipated. Warm may not be the word for it, but warmer than what we thought. Yeah, I would say so with those upper 50s across the area. Now we're getting back down below freezing as we head through tomorrow night, or well, I say tomorrow night, tomorrow morning, which is over the next several hours, really. And I mean, check this out too, right? We're going to keep the winds out of the north for a little bit longer. I do think though, past midnight, we get them back out of the south. That's really the key to our warming trend tomorrow. So for tomorrow, for our Sunday, we're really going to be a lot warmer than we are today. And you saw how the models were yesterday, so we might even be a little warmer than that still. But check out what we have at face value. Now through tonight, this looks about right. I think we're going to be seeing those uh, below freezing temperatures. We're probably going to, you know, 27, 28, 29, 30 through tonight. But then as we head through tomorrow, well, we get that wind sharply out of the south, 10 to 15 miles an hour. And then we're talking mid 60s, maybe upper 60s, widespread across the area for our Sunday. Looking pretty good out there. I'll tell you what, if you have any picnic plans, maybe strap it down. It's going to be a little windy, but I think we're going to do pretty good for our Sunday. I'll discuss that more in just a few moments. Now, big picture, Monday and into Tuesday, that's where we're going to see some 70s. We're talking 72, 73, 74 degrees. Definitely very spring-like in this kind of regime here. Now, you do notice a few showers pop up Monday and into Tuesday. That just doesn't look like a huge deal. Notice it's really not that widespread. I think the more widespread rain comes as this front moves south and east into the Tennessee Valley and then boom you got that widespread thunderstorm activity across the area late Wednesday and into Thursday as well. So it looks like past Wednesday, it's really starting Wednesday, we get this more widespread heavy thunderstorm activity in the Tennessee Valley and then we also pick up those uh, cooler temperatures, right? I really do think that frontal passage will make itself known past Wednesday and even Wednesday itself. We're probably only going to get up into the mid 60s to say only, right? It's still February, but I mean check out those 50s coming in. 53, 55, 60 by next weekend. So we will cover just a little bit, but uh, that frontal passage definitely cools us off quite a bit. Speaking of cooling off, there are those temperatures near freezing and below freezing through tonight. You see those 27s, 28s, 30s across the area. And then boom though, check it out. Widespread 60s across the area. Even a couple of us as you head west towards the Mississippi River, getting up in the 68, 69 range. So it would not shock me I'm not expecting this, but it wouldn't shock me if one or two of us out here, you know, in uh, northeastern Mississippi, and western portions of our coverage area, maybe hit a 70. I, I think the 70s are really going to come through, uh, you know, we're talking Monday and Tuesday, but with these mid to upper 60s across the area, especially down here in northwest Alabama and out towards northeast Mississippi, you know, it wouldn't shock me, right, especially with how models have been performing. So we'll keep a close eye on that. I think we have a pretty nice Sunday in store for us. We'll call it mid to upper 60s across the area, mostly dry conditions. A few showers Monday and Tuesday as well. Again, not looking like a huge widespread deal Monday and Tuesday. So I wouldn't necessarily plan your entire day around the rain chances, but just know it's possible. It's just possible that we might see a few scattered ones across the area. Wednesday though, I think all of us are probably going to see something with this when all is said and done with it. Some thunderstorm activity through the later half of the day. And then we hold these shower chances past that with cooler temperatures returning as we get out of the 70s and get back into the 50s by the end of the week. Thanks for watching this forecast update. Of course, I'll be back with you tomorrow for more at 4, fresh from the Tennessee Valley Weather Center, and God bless.